this tutorial is designed to show a user how to get into Google email and set up their account for forwarding. This message right here is the email I set up as a temporary account and I just called it test case. So the email address is testcase at nbntc.com. The main thing about this email, two things. One is we're going to want this password to log in the first time. Notice we don't want the period on the end. Copy that and then we'll click on the link. This will take us to our Google Apps since we set up the domain through Google Apps and that's where the email is originated from. Now we'll just type in our username, which in this case is test case. The at NBNTC is filled in for us and we're gonna paste our password that was a temporary password for us. And we don't need to sign in. Here's the user agreement and information about the account and accept. So now we wanna put in that current password again, put in a new password. So our new password, I'm just gonna use something I can remember for this example. The administrator of the account can reset this or send you a reset password if need be. All right, once we've completed that process, we're pretty much done with this. You can always use gmail.com as well. And real quick, I'll show you how to do that. Sign out. If I just go up here to Gmail, the difference is you have to put in your full email address. And I'm using my new password now, which I would want to remember. And here's our new information. And I recommend everybody go through and familiarize yourself with Google using their tutorials. This is the important part. In the upper right area, we can go and hit Mail Settings from the gear icon. Next step is click on Forwarding and pop IMAP. And if you're never going to use this email to send or receive directly on an email client or anything, you could just go right to Add, for, add a Forwarding Address. But what I always like to do is enable IMAP and save changes. It's one little extra step, but down the road, if you decide you want to use your mobile phone or anything else like that, this will be all set up for you. And notice I use this gear icon here. They've actually added that in the new interface so you don't have to use this one all the time. Next, we're going to add a forwarding address. So please enter a new forwarding email address. This is where I want it to go. So instead of test case, I'm going to send it to my master account. And it says forwarding mail to proceed. Next step is add a forwarding address requires a confirmation code has been sent to verify permission. So all I'm doing now is going back to my email account. I'm looking for the email that was just sent and now it was sent to dnap at nbntc.com to verify that I own the account. I can check it, monitor it, and I'm not just spamming someone else because that would be bad. And I can put in my confirmation code this way and say, okay, get rid of that. I can put my confirmation code in right here to verify. Or, even easier, I can just click on this link to confirm the request. It'll open a new window, tell me that it's confirmed, and I may now forward email to my preferred uh, address. So, since I did it already, I don't need to verify it this way. Again, you can use either method, whatever you prefer. Um, but I do need to refresh this instance, because otherwise this screen doesn't know what I've done already. And this is just as easy as a reload of the page and now it tells me I have an option here to forward a copy of incoming mail to this email address that I chose. And I also want to keep Northern Business Network of Traverse City Mail's copy in the inbox. Again, if you're never going to use this for anything, you could ch just have this archive it or delete it completely. But I, for the time being and, and the group I'm setting this up for, I would leave this as keep this email in the inbox because you could always log in and see your email. And if you ever lost your other account for any reason, you could always come back here and get your messages that were sent to you and there'd be a copy waiting for you here at Google. Once you click on forward a copy of incoming mail 
to your preferred address. You do not want to click on add a forwarding address. That would just go through the process again. You do need to go down to the bottom and click save changes though. And it's done. To confirm that we can go back in, check settings, and now forwarding in pop email, it's set to forward a copy of incoming mail to the proper location. And that's it. Notice I've made no changes so this option is not available at this time. So you're all done. There you go.